Welcome to a roller coaster terminology lesson. This lesson is for people that are starting to become a coaster enthusiast or want to be one, but they don't know any of the terms to become a roller coaster enthusiast. There are timestamps in the video description so you can skip to a certain part of the video if you want to learn something specific. My name is Coaster Legend and this is a roller coaster terminology lesson. I will read a word off, say the definition, and give an example. Let's get started. We will start with manufacturers. Aerodynamics. This coaster manufacturer is famous for building, looping, and mine train roller coasters back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. The company's track consists of a support trunk with ride rails on either side of the trunk. This manufacturer is famous for making coasters such as X2 and the Corkscrew. This manufacturer is defunct. Even though they are not around now, they get a lot of respect from coaster enthusiasts for the start of the coaster wars and building great steel coasters. B&M. B&M stands for Bollinger and Mabillard. The manufacturer is very popular for making reliable coasters that the general public like. B&M's masterpieces include Fury 325 and Mako. Their track consists of a square support trunk that ties the ride rails with the cross beams. B&M is located in Switzerland. CCI. CCI is a wooden roller coaster manufacturer that made coasters in the 90s. CCI stands for Custom Coasters International. The company made coasters like The Legend at Holiday World and The Boss at Six Flags St. Louis. CCI is now defunct. DIN. This wooden roller coaster manufacturer made coasters in the 90s. They made large wooden coasters such as Mean Streak and Texas Giant. This coaster manufacturer is defunct. Gerschlauer. This German manufacturer is known for small, compact looping coasters with beyond vertical drops. These coasters are known as Eurofighters. Gerschlauer's track type is usually a triangle shape with cross ties in between. Gravity Group. Gravity Group is an American wooden roller coaster manufacturer known for incredible coasters like the Voyage and Hades 360. The company can make tall and fast coasters and also wooden family coasters. Some of the coasters that Gravity Group has built have inversions as well. Great Coasters International. Great Coasters International, or GCI for short, build wooden coasters, usually with compact layouts and an abundance of overbanks and airtime moments. The layouts of these wooden roller coasters are usually very twisty and turny compared to other wooden roller coasters. GCI is located in Pennsylvania and is known for coasters like Wicker Man and Mystic Timbers. Intamin. Intamin is a Swiss coaster manufacturer known for its tall coasters and its launch coasters. The company has built coasters like Millennium Force and King Ka. Intamin's track type is very similar to Gerschlauer's track type. It consists of a square or triangular shape with cross beams in the center of the shape. Mock Rides. Mock Rides is a German manufacturer that builds launch coasters like Copperhead Strike or Helix. The manufacturer's track type is the same as Intamin's or Gerschlauer's. You can differentiate Mock from Intamin because Mock Rides usually has more inversions and slower launches. Mauer. Mauer is a German roller coaster manufacturer that makes launch and family coasters. Their track type is similar to Gerschlauer's track type. Famous coasters by the company include Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket and Shock. Morgan. Morgan is a roller coaster manufacturer that has the same track type as Aerodynamics. The company is known for its hyper coasters like Phantom's Revenge or Mamba. Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters. This American coaster manufacturer is known as PTC for short. PTC builds old classic wooden coasters like Racer or Comet. Their coasters are usually an out and back model. Premier Rides. Premier Rides makes launch coasters with tracks similar to Intamin's. The company is famous for coasters like Full Throttle and Flight of Fear. Rocky Mountain Construction. Rocky Mountain Construction, or RMC for short, is an American coaster manufacturer. The company redesigns old wooden coasters with new steel track and is able to create elements like a wave turn or inversion. 
They are also known for their single rail model. RMC's coasters include Twisted Cyclone and Steel Vengeance. SNS Sansei. SNS is an American coaster manufacturer known for their air launch coasters. The company also has many other models, including the Axis Coaster and the Looping Coaster. SNS has many different track types. Some are like Intamins, some are like BMs, and some are like Aero's track type. Famous SNS coasters include Do Dodanpa and Steel Curtain. Sworfskopf. Sworfskopf is a steel roller coaster manufacturer based in Germany. Sadly, the manufacturer is now defunct. The track included track like BM and Intamins. Famous coasters include Revolution and Montezuma's Revenge. Togo. Togo is a Japanese roller coaster manufacturer known for making big coasters. The company is now defunct. Togo's track type was pretty similar to Aero's track type. Their most famous coasters are the Big Apple Coaster and Windjammer Surf Racers. Vacoma. Vacoma is a Dutch roller coaster manufacturer with two track types. The old track type was the same as Aero's, while the new track type is like BMs. Vacoma is known for making rough coasters, but they are now making smooth launch coasters. Vacoma is known for coasters like the SLC and Lek Coaster. Zamperla. Zamperla is an Italian roller coaster manufacturer known for making kitty coasters and family coasters. Their track type is similar to that of BMs. Famous coasters by them are Thunderbolt and Time Warp. Zierer. Zierer is a German manufacturer known for small launch coasters and family coasters. Their track type is similar to Gerschlauer's. Famous coasters from them include Verbolten and Jaguar. Now that you know your manufacturers, we'll move to coaster types. We will move in alphabetical order. Fourth Dimension Roller Coaster, a roller coaster with cars that flip. The cars are on either side of the track. An example of this coaster is X2. Accelerator Roller Coaster, a roller coaster with a hydraulic launch. These coasters usually consist of a tall top hat element and tight turns. An example of this is King the Ka. Blitz Coaster, a coaster with multiple inversions and rapid transitions. An example is Cheetah Hunt. Bobsled Coaster, a coaster that doesn't have rails, but instead has a curved shaped track. An example of this would be Flying Turns at Knobles. Boomerang Coaster, a Vacoma roller coaster that dispatches backwards from the station, climbs up a hill, falls forwards, goes through three inversions, and then does the layout again backwards. An example is Boomerang at Six Flags St. Louis. Dive Coaster, a roller coaster that stops and hangs at the top of its 90 degree drop. An example of this would be Griffin. Eurofighter slash Infinity Coaster, a coaster manufactured by Gerschlauer with many inversions, steep drops, and a vertical lift hill. An example of this is Takabisha. Floorless Coaster, a sit-down roller coaster that does not have a floor. The ride usually has many inversions. An example is Rougarou. Flying Coaster, a roller coaster where riders sit parallel with the track, either facing straight up or down. An example would be Manta. Giga Coaster, a roller coaster in, in between the heights of 300 and 399 feet tall. An example is Millennium Force. Hybrid Coaster, a roller coaster with steel track and wooden supports, or wooden track and steel supports. An example is Iron Gwazi. Hyper Coaster, a roller coaster in between the heights of 200 and 299 feet tall. An example is Nitro. Impulse Coaster, an inverted shuttle coaster with a launch that goes backwards and forwards with two spikes on either side of the launch. An example of this is Wicked Twister. Inverted Coaster, a roller coaster with riders underneath the track. The train goes upside down multiple times. An example of this is Raptor. Invertigo Coaster, an inverted version of the Boomerang Coaster. An example is Invertigo at Kings Island. Launch Coaster, a coaster with launches that isn't a hydraulic launch usually consists of inversions and airtime moments. An example is Copperhead Strike. Mega Coaster, a coaster in between the heights of 100 and 199 feet. An example of this is Puritan. Mine Train Coaster, a family coaster themed to a mine cart. Built back in the 60s and 70s, an example is River King Mine Train. 
Mobius Loop Coaster. A Mobius Loop Roller Coaster is a racing or dueling roller coaster that is built as a single connecting track as opposed to two separate tracks. An example of this is Twisted Colossus at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Motorbike Coaster A coaster model where riders sit on a motorbike style seat. An example is Hagrid's Magical Creatures. Out and Back Coaster A coaster layout where the coaster goes out and then back with a turnaround. An example is Racer at Kings Island. Pipeline Coaster A coaster model where the trains are in the middle of the track. An example of this is Ultra Twister. Powered Coaster A roller coaster that does not rely on gravity but instead relies on electricity. An example of this is Thunder Run at Canada's Wonderland. Prefabricated Wooden Coaster a wooden coaster where the track is made off-site instead of on-site, resulting in a smoother ride experience. El Toro is an example of this. Racing Coaster, a coaster with two separate tracks side-by-side -side that race each other. An example of this is Gemini. Shuttle Coaster, a coaster that doesn't complete a full circuit, but instead goes backwards and forwards through the layout. An example is Wicked Twister. Single Rail Coaster, a coaster that has one rail. Sit Down Coaster, a coaster where riders experience many inversions and drops sitting down. An example of this is Wildfire. Skyrocket 2 Coaster. A coaster that goes backwards and forwards through a launch coaster layout with one inversion in a non-inverting loop. An example of this is Tigris. Spinning Coaster. A coaster that spins through, throughout its family coaster layout. An example would be Sierra Sidewinder. Stand-up Coaster. A coaster where riders stand over a bicycle seat instead of sit. An example of this is Vortex. Steel Coaster. A coaster made of steel. Strata Coaster. A coaster between the heights of 400 and 499 feet tall. An example of this is King Ka. Suspended Coaster. A coaster where trains are underneath of the track that sways with the turns. These coasters do not invert. An example is Iron Dragon. Terrain Coaster. A coaster that uses the terrain to its advantage. Twister Coaster. A roller coaster that twists in and out of itself. An example of this is Apocalypse. Water Coaster. A coaster with drops and turns before a big splashdown at the end of the ride. Wild Mouse Coaster. A small coaster with tight turns and dr small drops, often themed to mice. An example of this is Ricochet. Wing Coaster. A coaster with seats on the sides of the track. Wooden Coaster, a coaster made from wood. Now that we have gone through all of the coaster types, we'll go through coaster elements. Airtime Hill, a hill that provides either floater or ejector airtime, which we will discuss later in the video. Banana Roll, an element that consists of a half loop and then a 90 degree bank turn, which then leads into another half loop downwards. Banked Turn, a turn that is tilted to convert lateral G's into positive G's. Barrel Roll, a roll that tilts riders all the way upside down while traveling in a straight line. Batwing, an element that starts with a half corkscrew into a downwards half loop, followed by an upwards half loop and another half corkscrew going in the direction that the ride came from. Bowtie, the same as the Batwing, except the train exits the element in the opposite direction of where it came from. Camelback, a massive airtime hill usually providing floater airtime. Cobra roll, a half loop upwards, followed by a half corkscrew. After the half corkscrew is another half corkscrew going in the opposite direction as the previous corkscrew, which leads into a downwards half loop. Corkscrew, an inversion kind of like the shape of a screw. Think of it as a stretched out loop, but the train never goes back on itself. Cutback, a corkscrew but the ending half of the corkscrew faces the other direction. Riders exit, the cutback going in the direction they came from. Demonic Knot, a zero-G roll, followed by a turn around the first inversion, which then leads into a second zero-G roll. Dive Drop, a drop found on wing coasters. A half twist, followed by a downwards half loop. Dive Loop, an element that consists of a rising turn into a downwards half loop. Double Down, a drop that levels out, then is immediately followed by another drop. Double Up, an upward slope that levels out, which is then followed by another upward slope. Drop Track, a track that moves downwards to give riders a pop of airtime before joining up with more track. Fly to Lie slash Lie to Fly, 
an element on a flying coaster where riders are in the flying position and switch to the lying position, vice versa. Flying snake dive, an upward slope followed by a barrel roll and a vertical twist downwards. Half loop, half of a loop. Heartline roll, a roll where riders' hearts stay level through the entire inversion. Helix, a turning element taking a spiral shape. Immelman, an inversion named after an aircraft maneuver. An upwards half loop followed by a twist outwards. Incline loop, a loop tilted to the side. Launch, a way to speed riders up using air, tires, cables, or magnets, usually on a straight section of track. Lift hill, a way to get up to the top of the hill, usually using a chain, cable, or tires. Loop, an element where the track makes a 360 degree oval shape vertically. Non-inverting loop, a loop that twists at the top so it doesn't invert. Norwegian loop, starts with an ascent into a twisting downwards half loop, then followed by an upwards half loop that twists at the top before descending back down. Overbank turn, a turn that is banked over 90 degrees but not banked over 135 degrees. Pretzel knot, a dive loop, followed by an immelman which exits through the dive loop. Pretzel loop, an inversion found on flying coasters, where the train goes through a downwards half loop to flip riders on their back, and then an upwards half loop so riders flip back on their stomachs. S-curve, two turns in the opposite direction, with a change in banking in between the turns. Sea serpent roll, a half loop followed by a half corkscrew, followed by a half corkscrew in the same direction, which leads into a downwards half loop. Sidewinder, a half loop followed by a half corkscrew. Spike, an element on a shuttle coaster where there is a section of track leading upwards to cause trains to roll back. Stingle dive, a mix of an overbank turn and an airtime. Switch track, a track that moves to join with other track. Top hat, a vertical twist leading into a crest that leads into a vertical drop. This element can also invert. Twisted airtime hill, an airtime hill that twists to the side. Wave turn, a turn that is banked 90 degrees, then bounds out and back in for airtime, and then turns again. This is kind of like an overbank turn. Zero G roll, an airtime hill that twists at the top, which causes trains to flip upside down. Zero G stall, a twisted ascent that flips riders upside down and then back in the same direction. Lastly, we have the other turns that don't fit into a category. These will not be going in alphabetical order. Air launch, a form of launching using compressed air to boost the train. LIM slash LSM launch, a form of launching using magnets to propel the train forward. LIM means linear induction motor and LSM means linear synchronous motor. Hydraulic launch, a type of launch using a cable to pull the train to the end of the launch track. Chain lift, a lift hill using a chain to pull the train up the hill. Train. A train consists of several cars that complete the layout as one unit. Brakes. A way to slow riders down. Trim brake. A brake that slows the train down during the ride, usually on hills. Block brake. A way to stop the train at the end of a block zone. Block zone. A zone that only one train can occupy at a time. This prevents trains from colliding into each other. Ejector airtime, a type of airtime that is violent and throws riders out of their seat very quickly. Floater airtime, a more sustained type of airtime where riders float for a long period of time out of their seats. Flowjector airtime, a mix of ejector and floater airtime. Hang time, when riders hang upside down for an extended period of time. Rumble, a type of bumpiness on a classic wooden coaster. Rattle, a vibration on a roller coaster. Headbanging, when riders' heads bang from side to side. Restraint, the thing holding the rider in. Station flyby, when the train flies by the station. Head chopper, when a ride goes very close to an object, giving the riders a sensation of a near miss. Upstop wheels, the wheels underneath the ride rails to help support negative G moments. Guide wheels, the wheels on the outside of the track to help provide lateral G support. Ride wheels, the wheels on top of the track that the train rides on. POV, point of view.
ERT, exclusive ride time. Anti-rollback device, the device that keeps the train from rolling down the lift hill in case of a, a stoppage. This makes the clicking sound on chain lift hills. So that is it for this video. Please comment below if you learned something new. Leave a like and hit the subscribe button. This is my biggest video yet, so I really hope you enjoyed. See you guys.